feeling like, yeah, let's do it, let's go, let's go. But, like, I worked on myself since then, you know, Avi. All right, tell me to shut up next time I say that. Um, all right, so she came here for two weeks. But, all right, she pulls up. I'm very bad at telling stories right now. She pulls up. I pick her up. We hang out. I'm like, all right, she's very nice, very pretty. But, like, I don't feel like that feeling, like, when you're hanging out with a friend. Like, like I can talk to her as a friend. I'm like, you need that. There was nothing wrong with her. Great girl. And she said, why did she say I love you? On the, the second day. Well, not even a full day. Not even 24 hours. She said, I love you. I said, thanks. Ah, like, like, did you blank her? Like, I literally did, was like caught in my tracks. Like, I was like, okay. Um, and then there's, oh, sorry, someone's like, I'm, I should not be doing this at 7 Eleven with my lights on when my door's open. Okay, so. <laughs> in Jersey. Yeah, like it's so so bad. Um, so yeah, she said I love you at the, the second day, and then she kept looking for jobs and stuff when she was here, and I was like, "All right, you need to like go home first, and we can figure things out." This was like a weekend of us just hanging out as friends, basically. So she's still like looking up jobs, looking up different flights already. I'm like. Okay, I'm, like, not sure what to do. Like, I didn't even know how to, like, respond to it because she was so sweet, so, like, innocent. Like, I felt so bad because, like, I didn't get to know her on that level that she thought she knew me at. I didn't feel that deep connection. So I was just very kind to her and kept everything up front, of course, and told her, like, you need to go home first and figure things out. Um and see your family and then we can really see how things are well tell me how i'm sleeping after like maybe two weeks go by for not being here she booked a flight here and i wake up to her saying i booked a flight sending me the itinerary i'm like no like it made me feel so guilty for no reason like because she was so nice so I basically just said, look, you can't come. You need to stay in Australia. You can't pack up your whole life and just leave for someone like that. Like, thank God it was me and not one of the people that are like, let's go get married. <laughs> I'm ready for this. I'll get out. Yeah. I felt, I just felt so bad. Like, I didn't know how, I've never had that situation happen in my life. When someone's just trying to, like, look from that far away, I think I hit from start to finish right there. Like, it's not going to happen again. Like, it's not. Fucking Australia, that's, though, out of all places. Right? You like, that, can't that, get any further hard. away. That's so bad. But, yeah. I'm like, what are you running from? Oh, my God. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, no. I had one bad dating story when I went on Bumble. Bumble did I tell you that one? one? I think you did. Wait, oh. did you? Wait, I just okay, so, so I went on Bumble and I was, you know, this was like before I came out. So I was on Bumble, I was going on like coffee dates and dates. I met this girl from Ohio, right? Elizabeth. I was talking to her for a while. She was like fixing up a camper van and she's like, oh, I got to go to New York. For a That's light, cool, uh, voice over. What? That's so cool, though. She was. Yeah, I like that. I was like, ooh, camper van. Yeah, I'm about that van life. So she's like, I'm going to New York for a voiceover gig. And then I have a friend, Omar, that lives in Providence. So I'm going to come out and visit him. I'm like, all right, cool. Come out. I'll take you to dinner. Whatever. We'll meet. See what's what. So she comes out and she's got her camper van, which I thought she's staying with her friend, Omar. She's like, I'm going to come out and visit Omar. So I'm assuming she's going to stay with her friend. So she's like, oh, where can I park my, my van to sleep in? Now, I'm an empath. I'm never going to let somebody sleep in a van. 
I was like, well, I have a guest room. Like, you can sleep in my guest room or I'll sleep on the couch. You can have my bedroom, whatever. The girl literally wouldn't leave. That like, so she was, would not leave. And I was like, okay. I was like, then, like, there was problems with her van. And I was like, all right. Like, after three days, I was like, I'm sorry. Like, you need to go stay with your friend or you need to figure it out, like, because uh, I was like, I wasn't feeling it either. And I told her that. I was like, listen, I'm right. very honest. That's exactly how I felt. Like, wasn't feeling it. I was like, and then after that, I was like, fuck that. I deleted Bumble. I was like, no more. Yeah, and then, you got Oh, my God. Got... She had a Art. medical condition. So then she gets home, and she calls me. I get this weird fucking message from the hospital. And it's like, I hear, like, things going off. It didn't make sense. Like, it was all, like, fucking weird. And I was like, what the fuck? And she's like, oh, I didn't tell you. I thought I had it under control, but I have, like, an adrenaline problem. And if I pass out and I don't get to a hospital, within an hour I can die. And I'm like, and you stayed at my house and you didn't tell me this? Like, what would have happened if I left yeah. and came back and you were dead in my house? Oh, I met Wait. this girl on Bumble and now she's unconscious. I'm like, like, who does that shit? So I was like, you know what? I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm not fucking dating. And then I didn't date until 